So number 13 from paper one of the 2017 National 5 There's a diagram here involving the intersections of lines You've got the equations of these two lines And it says find algebraically this point of intersection So don't try and draw this diagram properly and measure along No, it means that I should say simultaneous equations So I'll just put my two equations down here 3x minus y equals 2 and x plus, that's quite handy, plus, plus 3y equals 19. That's not so handy. Well, I'll give them names. 1 and 2. So simultaneous equations then. Well, the plan would be you can get rid of the y's just by adding them. It's always easier adding rather than subtracting. And my plan will be if I do 3 of this one, 3 of equation 1, I'll just put it to the side here. If I do 3 of equation 1 and 1 of equation 2, it should all match up nicely. So 3 of this means 3 times everything, not just the bit you want. So 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times y is 3y. 3 times 2 is 6. i leave this one alone. x plus 3y equals 19. Now it all matches up nicely. They disappear, and I'm left with 10x, and that comes to... 25, and you think, oh, x equals 25 over 10, which is 2.5, or will I call it 2.5? I think I'll call it 2.5. Rather, it wasn't a fraction at all, and it was a nice little whole number that came out of it, but that's what happened. Now, to find y, I'll just go back to equation 2, and with equation 2, it says x, which is 2.5, plus 3 lots of y, will it make 19? Well, that means that 3y will be 19, I'll just put it down, minus the 2.5. So that's going to be 16.5. So y is going to be that divided by 3. I think I'll just write divided by 3 now, because I've got no room anyway. So 3 into 16 goes 5, and 1 over. 3 into 15 goes... 5 again. So there's the two answers. But I think I'll just write it down. So what were the coordinates of this point of intersection? Well, the x-coordinate was 2.5 and the y-coordinate was 5.5. You can always check that because I used equation 2 to get this one. So I could check if that works with equation 1 here. Is 3 times 2.5 minus 5.5 equal to that. Well, 3 times 2.5 is 7.5. And 7.5 take away 5.5 is 2, which it should be. So that should check that that is correct. Number 14 then from paper 1 of the 2017 National 5 You've got a parabola in the completed squared form x plus a all squared plus b You know the axis of symmetry is x is negative 5 It gives you a point on it But for one mark, there's only three marks altogether State the value of a So that's the point negative 5 something and in this, it should be what's being subtracted from that. And if you're subtracting a negative 5, it would be a plus 5 that would go in. So the answer to that part is A equals 5. Because what you would write for that would be X plus 5 squared plus whatever B is. If it was actually a negative 5 at the turning point. And that is part B for two marks now, what's the value of B? So finish off the equation in other words. So it was a plus 5, because that was back at minus 5. So to find this value here for B, you need numbers to put in for X and Y. Here's a pair here. You can put in the point negative 3, 8. Just make sure you put them in the correct place. The Y is the 8, so I'll put that under there. 8 equals, the X is the negative 3, so I'll put it there. So we're replacing the y by 8 and the x by negative 3. Now I can work out b because that's all just numbers. So 8 is equal to negative 3 and 5 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 
I'll just put it down, 2 squared plus b. So 8 is equal to 4 plus b. I think you can just quite safely say 4 and 4 is 8. So b is 4. Number 15 then from paper 1. The last question in paper 1 of the 2017 National 5 Mathematics exam. Here we go. Similar triangles. The return of a proper similar triangles question. Calculate the value of x. There is a bit awkward thing about that, that. Notice how it says x centimetres. That means x is, strictly speaking, just a number. It's just the number of the centimetres. So your final answer should really just be x equals a number. But you're probably just going to write x equals something centimetres and they're not going to bother particularly about that. Well, the first thing is, in order to use these similar triangles, because obviously they're similar, we've got the parallel sides, meaning you've got corresponding angles. So there's a small triangle and there's a large triangle, which I'll just put over here, there like that. There's the small triangle and there's the large triangle, which are similar because they've got the same angles. Obviously, they share this angle. And because they've got parallel lines, those two are the same and all three are the same. So one's just an enlargement of the other one. The ratio of corresponding sides will be the same. So let's put those sides in. Well, that's 5 and that's 7, so that gives you the ratio of corresponding sides. That side is x. But that side's not 2.6. You only deal with whole sides in this, complete sides. So this side is actually x plus 2.6. Now, there's various ways you can set it out. You can just set it out as ratios. This over that equals this over that. You can do that. Or you might set it out as, what's the ratio here? The ratio of the triangles is 5 to 7. Which means that this triangle is 7 upon 5 times that, or this triangle is 5 upon 7 times that one. Okay, I'll just start with this one. So, this length is smaller than that length, and the ratio here says it's 5 sevenths of it. It's 5 sevenths of x plus 2.6. Take the 7 across and multiply that side, 7x, leaving the 5 to multiply this side, 5x plus, now 5 times 2.6, that's 10, and another 3 is 13. Now it's just a case of swap sides. 7x take away the 5x is 13, so 2x is 13, take that 2 across and divide, 13 upon 2, or you can say x is 6.5. Now, that actually is the answer. X is 6.5, because it was the number of centimetres. If you put centimetres in there, you're not going to lose a mark.